Hi, I'm Joyce, founder of Respect Massage. What do you do when you get a text message or a message over social media from a new client and you're not quite sure how they found you, where they came from, and you're not quite sure of their intentions? You want to accomplish a couple things with your response. You want to come across as professional because 99% of the time, it's actually someone looking for a massage and they're looking at your business to become a client. But sometimes it's someone that's looking for a happy ending or for sex from a massage therapist. So you want to weed out those clients quickly. Here is how you're going to respond. You're going to send this to anyone that you're not sure of and that you've never met before. A thank you for contacting us. Please respond with your full name and phone number, and we will call you during business hours. Then have the Respect Massage Zero Tolerance logo right there in your reply. For clients that are legit, that are coming to you looking for a massage, you come off as professional and you come off as someone that needs to talk to them before their appointment. You're going to want to go over medical concerns, get an idea of what they're looking for for a massage, and you want to find the right time and day for them to come in. So that's all great. If it's a client looking for a happy ending, they're not going to want to give their full name and they're not going to want to talk to you on the phone. So the barrier you created in the booking process is going to weed out anyone that's looking for a happy ending and they're going to go on to the next. Keep in mind, when someone's looking for a happy ending, they know that what they're looking for is illegal. They also know that illegal massage parlors will not care about medical history, and they're going to be discreet with their client's information. They're not going to ask for last names, phone numbers, or credit card information. It's usually fake names, and the services are paid for in cash. So if you come in right off the bat with that Respect Massage logo saying, Respect Massage, Zero Tolerance, it's going to be a major deterrent. If the client avoids giving you their personal information and says, well, I just have a quick medical question, you should consider that a red flag. That's something that's very common when solicitors are looking to see if you will give them a happy ending. I have a quick medical question about my penis. So all you have to do is not respond, screenshot, keep their phone number on file, and then block them. It's always a good idea to keep any solicitations that you receive on file in case it turns into a pattern or escalates in any way. It will give you more evidence to share with the police. Okay, so I want you to kind of get into the mind of someone that's looking for a happy ending. Remember what their end goal is. It's the happy ending. It's not necessarily to torture you or to bait you. The end goal is the happy ending. So if you make it abundantly clear with your professionalism and your concern for medical information, that's your way of showing them you're not running a massage parlor. I've had multiple massage therapists contact me saying, I used to have a problem with sexual solicitation and I put the Respect Massage logo on my website and it stopped. I've also had a massage therapist, Barb from Washington, contact me to share me that she had someone seek her out specifically because she was a member of Respect Massage. It was a client that stumbled across the Respect Massage webpage and fell in love with the message. She wanted to find a massage therapist was, that was in line with that message, and she found Barb because she had the Respect Massage logo on her website. The logo works. I hope this video has made a typically awkward exchange less stressful for you and most importantly, safer. Trust your gut. If it seems fishy, it probably is.